Alright, so it is a random day actually, it's not even a regular day, it's just a bonus video from uh, WonderCon. Uh, if you saw, you know, I already posted a whole bunch of WonderCon stuff, I would assume yesterday because this video ain't going live today. Uh, but I just figured, you know, I do, you know, you guys call it a haul video, I do a pickup video, but this is a haul video because it technically is more of a haul because it's not my weekly pickups. That's why I use the word pickup, just in case anybody else... By anybody else, I mean everybody else out there says haul and I say pick up because it's a week. You know, I'm not going to get into that right now, but uh, I'll start with like the free thing I got, which was this Trillium poster. It's awesome. I, I don't know if I'm even going to hang it. I might actually just take it to my store and give it to the owner. You know, I, d I don't know. I haven't decided there. Uh, next free thing. I didn't even open it. It's just a Dark Horse lanyard that my cousin picked up for me while he was at the Dark Horse booth. And uh, one of the only, the only comic I actually got is X-Men number one, uh, the gatefold cover and everything, $3, uh, it's cool, you know, um, Jim Lee art, so it's awesome. Uh, on to collectible things, I didn't buy this for myself, I bought this for my friend who gave me the money because he couldn't make it, the pop vinyl blue lantern flash figure and I really kind of wish I bought it but I wouldn't have had enough money for the stuff I bought later if I did but uh, I do wish I bought it because it was limited edition and all that cool stuff you know but it was limited to one so got for him you know it's gonna sit on my shelf anyway if I got it so it's gonna sit on his shelf too but whatever uh and for both of us last of us American dreams hardcover uh which apparently the lady told us is limited naughty dot Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog gave 500 to, I think, PAX East is what she said. Uh, basically, 500 for the West Coast, 500 for the East Coast. So it's limited to 1,000. I got one, my friend got one, and my cousin got one who went there, which uh, you should already know of. Uh, if you don't, I have a link at the end of the video and in the description to his channel where he did a few interviews and stuff with some people a lot like this guy right here, which I guess you've already seen the video at this point. Uh, with oh man i just can jason font i almost blanked on his name who signed this for me uh took a video with him and a picture with him he was he was awesome he was a really awesome dude um let's see next up we have the wondercon anaheim booklets right here with all the stuff in it and got it signed by cliff chang the artist for wonder woman which i also got cliff chang signed uh wonder woman number 27 um, a lot, basically we went there and got a whole bunch of signatures, nothing CGC, but who cares, I'm not planning on selling it, at least anytime soon, and, uh, yeah, so, my cousin got these signed for me because I was waiting for somebody else, I just might as well say I was waiting for Mark Wade. I'm, I'm saying this as, I'm thinking because you guys haven't seen the videos yet as I record this, but by now you have, hopefully, if you haven't, uh, they're all gonna be at the end, Tomb Raider, signed by, uh, Gail Simone or Simon I don't know how you pronounce it that's awesome but actually her signature is my favorite and I really wish I could have met her uh we, she signed Batgirl issue 13 for me right there in gold in the gold I'm just gonna tell you right now looks really nice with the with the yellow the Batgirl logo thing same with this one Batman wants hit part one Gail Simone awesome uh speaking of Mark Wade right there signing that. And the artist, whose name I forget, uh, Mayhew, signed, who's the artist of Star Wars, signed this for me. But he did black. So it's hard to see, but it's there. It's cool still. All of these people I had like a brief conversation with, uh, except for obviously Gail, Simone, and uh, the guy I just showed, Star Wars guy, because those were my cousin who did it for me um, while I was in line for something else. Uh, Fantastic Four issue number one, signed by James Robertson. Really cool guy. Uh, gave him my YouTube channel because I I told him I did a review for this. And he was like, oh, I hope it's awesome. And I'm like sitting here thinking, oh, I think I complained about the price. But I know the story was good. Um, Kelly Zhu Deconic, issue number one of Captain Marvel. I wish I had something else at first to get signed. Uh along with this especially mark wade i regret not taking hardcovers out really badly but she signed this for me and she was awesome again you've probably already seen the video so you know 
uh, this I really wish I took more stuff and he was really cool told me to tell my cousin not to speed uh, Tony S. Daniel which is one of the only people who's I didn't get on video uh, I was kind of pooped out at that point but you know it was, it was still cool and uh, last signature that I got anyway um, I completely forgot his name right now and it's right in that thing I feel bad that I forgot his name, Spence, Sp Lieber, Mar Mark Lieber, is it Mark Lieber, Le Scott Lieber, something like, I forgot your last name, man, but sorry, but yeah, he signed this, Superior Spider-Man, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, issue one, not just that, I bought Superior Foes of Spider-Man issue, or volume one from him, and he signed this for me, and we're not signed, he's, well, he did sign it, but he drew a uh, boomerang on it, that's freaking awesome, cool guy again all of them really awesome people and the last two things I have to show I bought absolute Batman it's signed by Tim Sale uh, it was used but it's cool I've been wanting to get it for a while and it was really cheap and the fact that it's signed even if like they can't confirm it's signed even like I don't know why whatever I don't care it's cool uh, and I was gonna get crisis on, us, crisis on infinite herbs they didn't have it when I went back to the booth, but they did still have the other thing I really, really wanted, which is the, I don't know if this is just a deluxe, I think it's called the deluxe hardcover edition because it's not an absolute edition, but it's basically an absolute edition, Avengers, JLA, hardcover, flipping, awesome, uh, yeah, that's all the stuff I basically got, had a really great time there and uh you know i'll talk more about that in the end slates just to make this easier but yeah all the stuff i got awesome if all the artists freaking amazing people i probably already said this in the end slate for the other video but uh yeah anyways that's my haul from wondercon i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and all that cool stuff and i will see you guys later thanks for watching goodbye